Okay, so today I'm hopefully going to be showing you how to paint up a cool giant ass punk steampunk wrench. This is something for Shy to go with my cool rocket pack, which you can't see. And yeah, so what you're going to need is some paint. You're going to need metallic paint, black paint, and I got some actual kind of uh, silver paint. And you're gonna need a spray bottle full of water and then just like some brown and black acrylic paint. The uh, first thing I did was to base it out in black. I always start with the darkest color first, usually black. And always prime it too. Remember to prime it. everything, just fucking prime it. It doesn't even matter because if you don't, you could end up shooting yourself in the foot later. So just always prime it and then paint it black. The next color I usually go in with is whatever I want the primary color to be. In this case, it is a metallic silver. Next color is just a layer color to give it some more texture. I'm using what I'm prefer to as gunmetal gray simply because I use this to paint the Samaritan. I don't know what actual color it is. And then we're going to go back in with the black. The purpose of all this is just to break up the colors. So when you're shooting these, I always shoot them from way up high so that way the paint just kind of and it trickles down onto it and comes out in a random pattern, not anything that looks fancy. Now we're going to give it a little rust in the top. You can see I added a little red here, but right now it just kind of looks like you beat someone to death with it, which that's what you're going for. Just spray some red spray paint on there. Um, but no, I want it to look rusty. So I got my brown acrylic paint, and we're going to add that into the mixture to help break it up and make it look like it's starting to rust a little. And then we're going to add some like grease and oil, too, hopefully. So you got pretty decent, kind of greasy, kind of rusty look to it right now. Now I'm going to add a little kind of oil to it also. So I'm just going to use some black paint and do the same exact thing. So basically it's just a matter of hitting it with the various colors and getting wet, wiping it off, just dabbing at it and even rubbing it in with your hands, although I'd recommend wearing gloves, and until you get the color that you're looking for. I mean, I've still got a little ways to go with this one, but should get the general idea. And here you have a nice grimy kind of rusty almost diesel punk wrench. Just remember just keep getting at it, layering it, even mixing the colors like I mix the black and the brown and the red all together and then I would do one of each and then I would mix them together and just keep hitting it and wiping it off and hitting it with water again until you get the color you want. It's gonna take a while but it'll be worth it. One of my favorites too, another reason, like I said, and uh, Hellboy 1, why I love to leave little imperfections, is I love how you can see little spots where you can kind of see what the original color was before this thing got all beat to shit and covered in grease and oil and everything. Just one of those little things that gives it some more character, I feel.